what's going on guys and welcome back to the final part of my bendy in the dark revival playthrough this is chapter five we're sitting here across from wilson about ready to start the next uh chapter oh my pipe stay close this place isn't as safe as it once was signal towers are nearby abilities disabled well i at least need to heal up i don't know if i was supposed to go this way or not let's see Old Truck 77 is quite a place these days. Ever since that terrible crash a few years back, people don't like to hang around. Too many strange things keep happening on this platform. Last week, one of the railmen told me they had a reports. They had had. They had heard. <laughs> they had had? Maybe it's they had. I don't know. They had had reports. It is they. Oh, my God. They had had reports of some train going through that wasn't on the schedule there were figures standing in cars standing through the window staring through the windows but it never stopped to let off let no one off just kept on going straight through some say it was a silver lane express train that crashed dude i had a tough time with that one <laughs> I guess I'll go back in there. I do want to jump down on the tracks, though. Did I save him? The demon's evil continues to spread. This world has begun to shudder. Be quiet. What did you say? Nothing. It was nothing. Hmm. Almost there. Just a quick stop. Won't take but a moment. Yeah, I don't know why we're trusting him. Nothing. Subject will stand in the designated location. Lethal object detected. The subject will submit all weapons for further screening. Disarm now. A Tommy gun? Dude, pick up an axe or a Tommy gun. Remain still for examination. I mean, I imagine bullets won't do anything against these guys. The subject is cleared for entry. Welcome to the civilized world. How do you like my signal towers? They nullify the ink demon's powers so he cannot pass them. I wish I could say I invented them, but it seems our friends at the Gent Corporation had a demon problem of their own long ago. Oh look, he's the hero. I bet Alice is going to be his daughter. This lady's... Freaky, dude. Is that a mask? Looks like a mask. And now, my dear, if you'll excuse me, I have a lot to prepare. We'll talk later, I promise. Besides, you must be very tired. A quick rest will do you good. Betty will show you to your room. She's my housekeeper, among other things. You... Never actually killed the ink demon, did you? No, he's too powerful to destroy. So we sealed him away, trapped him in a different form. 
One that was smaller. Harmless. Bendy. It was a fitting prison. Although he seems to have found a way to free himself. But enough talk. We'll deal with that soon enough. There's some nice fresh blankets all laid out for you. You'll be dreaming in no time. Wait, Wilson? One more thing. If you needed my help, why didn't you just ask? <sighs> Would you have believed me? Come along, and no more dawdling. This way now. Come on, let me knock this over. Last. It's so exciting finally having you with us. Now, to give you some bearings, we're currently standing in the south wing. Wilson's laboratory is downstairs, and then there's the north wing. It's so quiet, and she moves so slow. The ink demon got in there a while ago, and ever since. We've had to keep the North Wing locked up tight. I'm afraid it's fallen into ruins by now. All those juicy, lovely books gone to waste. Only keepers go there these days, and they'll tear you apart limb from limb if Wilson isn't with you. So, mind your distance, and you'll be just fine. Often I have guests to look after, especially one I can actually talk to. Almost everyone here either can't speak or they're completely mad. So slow. All right, here we are. Best room in the house. You should see where I sleep. Ugh. <laughs> but this room, oh, just perfect. I saw to every detail. Bed is clean. The bathroom is on the left. Sorry about the stains. I did try my best to get them out. Stains? Ink stains, hopefully. Not going anywhere. Oh, I got a doctor. Did you have any questions? Is it always night here? It's always dark, if that's what you mean for as long as I can remember. Are you very old? No. As far as I understand it, I'm something quite new. Although, I didn't turn out the way I was supposed to. One in a long line of failed experiments. But Wilson will keep trying. And do you trust Wilson? <sighs> this is the realm of the ink demon. The shadow hangs over us all. I don't trust anyone. But Wilson takes care of me, keeps me safe. He once said I remind him of something he called his mother. Tell me, is that a good thing, where you two are from? I'm not sure. I don't think I ever had one. Well, no matter. Now, uh, I was told to make sure you get some sleep once you got here. So get nice and comfy and relax. I left something on the table that might just help you nod off. It's my own recipe. Works very fast. Just follow the instructions. Carefully. Thanks, Betty. Of course. If you need anything else, I'll come straight away. I'm always up. So, do we think Betty's Alice? Gilson. What's a Gilson? Find Gilson. All right.
I'll go through each chapter. You guys can read. Pause, read if you want to. <laughs> That is a lot. Gotta be some way to play those keys in like the correct order or something. But without knowing. I guess out to the front again. Can I get out there? I can't. Cooking. Here we go, right? That's what we want. Nothing Maybe. here. So I'm looking for. Okay. When I saw fish. that fish, I was like, There's this looks like a Gilson, but. <laughs> Wouldn't let me do anything with it. Now that's a fish. Ugh, he's too fast. Okay, what is it? <laughs> when it said maybe it was closer, I was like, maybe music? I don't know. But the piano has to be closer. That did it. Looks like the fish is asleep. You can't get away from me, little stinker. <clears throat> uh, hello. I, uh, I forgot the Gilson again, didn't I? And there's some already ground up in the kitchen, too. Uh, I'll be, uh, I'll bring it up to your room straight away, shall I? <laughs> oh, and uh, maybe you could put Harold back in his tank. He does so hate the dry air. Man, I did all that for nothing. Just three sips of water. One. I don't know if I should sip this. Two. Three. So ah, I'm awake at last. I 
was almost afraid you'd miss my party. What? What's going on? Oh, it seems you're just a little overwhelmed. It's all right, honey. I understand. It's not every day one gets to bask in the glory of an angel. An angel? As angel, to be exact. That's who I am. A saint from above. Impending perfection. What do you want? <sighs> right to the chase. I like that. The truth is, honey, you're one of a kind. And to put it bluntly, what I want is your face removed, your skin peeled away like paper, and your insides torn out and tossed onto my table. Custom parts, ready for my delicious harvest. And with your generous sacrifice, I'll be beautiful. But for now, let's have fun. Plenty of time for a bloodbath later. Ooh, how about a game? Let's all play a game of riddles. Riddles? Oh, what a wonderful idea! No. <laughs> all right, honey. Here's the deal. Behind you is the door to freedom. But it will only be opened if you solve my little puzzle and return to your special chair. Then, I'll throw this heavenly switch here. If you get the puzzle right, you walk away. Get it wrong, you fry. Let's begin. Okay, say what your puzzle is. Well, the fox is not on the left, that's one the guarantee. The never sits with the bird, but he loves the playful company of the bear. The fox thinks the rabbit smells of elderberry. I couldn't see them sitting together. The rabbit never sits with the bird, but he loves the playful company of the bear. So it could be rabbit. The fox thinks the rabbit smells of elderberry. I couldn't see them sitting together. The bird won't have anything to do with the rabbit, but I hear he likes to court danger by sitting next to the fox. The fox has always hated the bear. They never sit next to each other. My friend the bear always sits next to the bird. After all, they went to school together. The fox thinks the rabbit smells of elderberry. I couldn't see them sitting together. The rabbit never sits with the bird, but he loves the playful company of the bear. Okay, so I'm going to do bird, bear, rabbit. Bird. Bear. Rabbit. Fox. That could 100 percent be wrong. What wait? The bird won't have anything to do with the rabbit, but I hear he likes to court danger by sitting next to the fox. Did I do that? Did I put the bird and the fox next to each other? Oh, can I change it? I want to change it. Damn. So I need to change the bird and the rabbit. I knew I heard that, but I... I don't know. I couldn't remember which one was which. I know, go ahead and kill me. Hold on tight, honey. Here it comes. This is gonna be rabbit, bear, Three, bird, fox. Two, one.
I know. Hurry up and reload. Don't give up yet. No, bird. I don't know if that electricity is good or bad. <laughs> Pretty sure that's correct. Unless I like completely just talked myself into something that I wasn't even thinking. Hold I on tight, honey. Here it comes. Three, two, one. <laughs> Now she just let me leave? Worry about it? Oh, cool. Am I gonna have to fight her now too? Is she gonna be like the new ink demon popping up? Holy crap. I was not expecting these guys to come alive. Come on, you shocked him. I don't know how I didn't die there. Let's see if I can upgrade this. I got the schematics again, so but nothing upgrade. Not enough equipment. Do I still have all my... I do. You should be able to use the money to do things other than... Well, wait. Maybe that is a component one. Maybe I just always do the food vending machine, but maybe there's one that sells components. Tasty Eats, Dream Supply. I know I just did this one, but I think... No, okay. I knew that Tommy gun was going to come back into once, like, they focused on it. I guess it was whack her the pipe a few times. Charged. Help me be beautiful! <laughs> I definitely messed up because I could have charged this. Gotcha! Stop hiding! Start dying! Ah, there you are! It's like a charging area. Might as well. I have plenty of money. Wait, where is the... That's it. Bleed. Oh, I gotta go up this ladder. I don't wanna go! Where did you go? Get to your inside! Oh, you're out there! Just be beautiful! 
Lock to activate. Is there another lock somewhere? Oh, here we go. I don't know if we're, I mean. Like having better cooldown is nice, but I might as well just do health. Opened anything. You hiding from me? Oh, gotta climb up on me. That was like really obvious once I did it, but. to sneak up behind her. It's kind of cool. Okay. Why does this feel so familiar? Are you all right, Audrey? Alice, I cannot begin to tell you how good it is to see you. And this must be your wolf. Audrey, meet Tom. He's my um. protector. My friend. What's up, Tom? You both got here just in time. Now I understand why you don't like being called Alice. The machine creates many of the same forms. At least, on the outside. On the inside, we're all pretty different. Well, from now on, I'm gonna call you something other than Alice. It just doesn't suit you. Oh? What do you have in mind? How about... Steve. Allison. That's it's really not close. bad. Okay, I'll try it out. But, only if you can tell me. What in heaven's name you're doing in Wilson's retreat? Wilson, I almost forgot. I have to get back right away. Are you crazy? Wilson's our enemy. Do you even know him? Have you ever talked to him? I've seen what he's done. That's good enough for me. Look, it sounds like he has a plan to kill the Ink Demon. For good. And I think he can help us all. I just... I just need to go back and hear him out. Well... Huh? If it's true, you'll both need as much help as you can get. The Ink Demon won't go down without a fight. Tom and I will gather some of our friends. Anyone who's left. Good luck, Audrey. You too, Allison. Mind if I take this? Take what, a Tommy gun? Or she take that? I heard a mind if I take this. Oh, can I grab something? Oh, yeah, no, she took the Tommy gun. I pet him. K9 
Can you pet the dog? Beautiful people run this world. If you can have brains or talent. Okay, this is Alice Angel. I'm exhausted. I'm running my mouth trying to read all that stuff. All right. Promise us peace. Must they bring us only more Is the keeper going to try and stop me now? Another one. Dear Alice, I don't know if you will read these notes. I'll keep leaving them for you. I hope someday you'll understand my words and the madness will fade from your mind. This strange and dark place we find light and purpose. We are not left to just wander alone, craving beauty, power, and other meaningless things. Even the heart of someone feeling incomplete and just like our joy. We're not lost. We're merely waiting to be found. We're much more alike, formed from the same mold. We're like sisters, you and me. I wish you comfort and the wisdom to let you know your heart melt into happiness. I won't give up trying to reach you before it's too late. So that must have been good Alice talking to bad Alice. This music box could make a good distraction if I can fix it. Ooh, he's right there. I didn't think he was going to walk all the way down this hallway. Is that the main objective? Object objective? Find the key, find the dancing figure. Okay. Another Alice note. They said he killed my lord. They said the ink demon fell. They said I was a false prophet. But I say my lord lives. But I say he will return. But I say you better watch your back, Mr. Wilson. Can I get an amen? Hey. Nope. I'm coming back up here. I'm probably going to get caught by this guy immediately. Okay, maybe not. There's somewhere I can like hide to get past him. Oh, my warp ability's gone. I'm trying to use it, I'm trying to figure out what was going on. I probably don't need to be on this side. If I had to guess to fix the music box would be on the other end. I gotta hang out back here though until he goes. Come on, turn around. I don't want to stand here for like 20 minutes waiting for him. Here we go. As long as I can see right there, see when he goes down there, I'll just sprint past him.
Really? Do I have to get like a running start maybe? Do not run and jump. <laughs> that doesn't work. I don't know what's going on. Can I really not get across? Really? I just have to walk on the metal. What was that? Power down. I don't understand what just happened there. I have no clue what's going on right now because that power down. I don't think I had any power in my... Did I have power in it? I'm gonna be so mad if I had power and I got rid of it. Well, that's the point of being able to get in there. Is that just to hide? Okay, I think I have to go power up my damn pipe. Which, like, I don't think I had it powered up. Maybe I did. I would just kick myself. Oh, come on. Man, I was I was halfway up the ladder. Wait, where the hell am I? I got all the way back to the start of this area. That's where that was. I should have just went to the hiding spot, but I was trying to get up the ladder.
Why is there a guy in here? That's all the pieces for the music box. What do I need the music box for? Like, I know it makes music, obviously, but... Hey, why the hell is he coming in here? Alright, so next is the music box, and then after that, what was the other thing? Oh no, they were both for the music box, okay. Fixed. Now I just need to find a good place to put it. I'm gonna wait till he goes back by. I wanna heal up. I also want to charge this up. Just in case I actually need it. Hopefully this guy's not going to be right up here. I'm going to assume the music box needs to be placed somewhere up here because that's where these guys are both kind of blocking. Here goes nothing. Probably should have went the long way. <laughs> oh, Betty's back up here. There you are, thank goodness. Wilson's waiting for you downstairs in the laboratory when you're ready. But first, can I get your help with something? Normally, I wouldn't ask this of a guest, but oh, with all that's happening, I can't sneak out and get things like I usually do. Do you think you could pop round to the farmer's market back in town and find me a few ingredients? We're running quite low in the kitchen. And I was hoping we could all celebrate tonight with a lovely supper. Won't take but a moment if you go by train. Up to you. <laughs> no pressure. I was hoping that was going to be optional, but... Why was that so loud running down the stairs? <laughs> not optional I just have to go back to town
Which subway? Do I know where it is? Seem dangerous <laughs> jumping on the track. Is that how I get it to come? Not just gonna cut the black and load. Great exit. So now that little bastard's gonna pop up again. Wait, what? Where do I need to go to get retrieve Betty's ingredients? Head to the farmer's market. Oh, the farmer's market's definitely back there. It's the stand. This has this is the farmer's market, right? Is that it? I kinda wish the ink team would pop up and just destroy that guy. Still chasing me? I don't know if me jumping on the track spawns the train or if just me coming in here spawns the train. I do like this is a pretty cool little travel system though you can just go get on this whenever you want travel back and forth I have a feeling we're coming towards the end because this is chapter five which i'm sure is i think is the last chapter it's the last one that has a uh like an achievement to unlock when i look at the steam achievements but also so far the longest chapter i don't know how much longer it's gonna go you're a miracle worker oh, truly oh i only wish there was something i could do for you oh wait I spotted something in the fountain yesterday. Don't know what it's for, but you're welcome to have it. You better go see Wilson downstairs. He's been waiting ages. He spotted something in the fountain. A cup? Oh, from the memories. Which I can look at the memories here, right?
Wilson knows your purpose. Uh, kind of hurt to look at. doing down here there's a lot of color and now it's gone <laughs> destroy such a monster he must be dethroned humiliated for months now I've been working on something that will do exactly that cast out the demon and put a new deity in his place stronger more powerful and controllable together we just need to unleash our ultimate weapon come let me show you my Creation. Isn't he beautiful? Simple but elegant. <laughs> A treasure. Powerful beyond anyone. The ink demon will fall. And we can have peace at last. It could work. But it sounds risky. How will we control him? We don't want to repeat Joey's mistake. No, we don't. All of the factors must be perfect. The right design, the right science, and the right soul. What? At last your purpose is revealed, Audrey. This is why you're here. With your soul inside him, my creation will live forever. Stay away from me. You're insane. Come now, Audrey. Part of you knew this was your path. Leave yourself behind and ascend. I thought you said we needed to save your father. I thought you had a plan to send me home, to make everything right. I lied. My father is beyond hope. Perhaps you know him. Nathan Arch, owner of Archgate, industrial genius, business tycoon. For years, I've lived in his reaching shadow. He always had time for the grand creatives of the world. The doers, as he called them. He knew only the best, the biggest thinkers. How could his lowly son ever hope to compete with that? But now, thanks to you, I can. No need to struggle. My signal prevents you from using those devilish powers of yours. And more importantly, keeps the ink demon from getting in. It's time to die, Audrey. And live again as a god. I think clearly he's going to fall in there and then we're going to have to fight no. this evil... Not this time. Ships ahoy, Dudley. <laughs> you just created a monster. It's time to ask the question. 
Oh no. Oh wow. <laughs> he turned up way more messed up than I expected. How do I fully charge my pipe? To get him close to it, maybe. I thought maybe I like have to explode it or something, but it looks like it's not. I'm get him to throw it over here first, and then we'll plug it in. Oh, come on. It didn't do any damage to me. Kind of surprising. How'd they all die so quick too? I must have had like a charged up pipe. Oh, they're just all one hit kill no matter what. Oh, they cover me with pain. That's what they're doing. Okay, so I died to him, so this is technically my second try doing this. All I know is I have to dodge him for a little bit, but I don't know if this actually does anything to him. I think he's kind of immune to those hits. This is when I think I can hurt him. So he swings us around his head. You just wait and then dodge. Okay, I didn't dodge, but that's fine. And you just beat those little things sticking out of him. I was hoping to get some health from those guys, but I didn't really get anything. It took my legs off.
So that seems like the bad ending. <laughs> Unless I can... I don't know if there's multiple endings. What's happening to me? There's always a choice. I know you're in there. Deep behind that evil face. Inside somewhere is my little girl. My Audrey, my greatest creation. I'm scared. I, I don't know what's happening. The past doesn't define you, nor the present. In the end, all those years ago, Joey Drew finally succeeded. He created life. But Audrey, you're so much more than that. You were his family, his daughter, my daughter, and I love you so very much. Be quiet, the gracious Remember who you are, Audrey. Remember. Your words are wasted. <laughs> You don't have to be this anymore. It's never too late. It's just a tense when you dream. It's not enough. You have to have heart. No! The future is sealed. Are we going to go like show the tape or, or the, the film or is that it? Because we were supposed to show them. Like... Oh, this is cool. <laughs> you're just a pawn. Watch me. You think you can defy me? Arise, man. Destroy this Controls could be a little bit better, but still cool. Do I even need to fight these guys? There's so many of them. Come on, ones. <laughs> oh, they're just gonna keep spawning. So I might as well just leave him behind me. I wonder if there's like a good and bad ending or if there's any kind of different endings.
trying to run, but, you know. Don't crouch. <laughs> what was that? I got this. Just keep fighting. The ink demon rises. Oh. Surrender yourself to the Lord, the Dark Puddles. It's time to believe. An interesting end. Not at all where I expected this to go at all. Being able to play as like a beast. Jesus, look at all of them. Keep going. Be all right. I need you to open up the door, dude. Some help? Henry, you came! Some battles are worth fighting for, <laughs> even a million times. Come on, I found a projector up ahead. Run for it! This is they keep telling me to run for it, and then they're like, oh, you gotta sit at this gate that's gonna take 30 minutes now. Well then, we'll just have to do better next time. My father once told me that just because we're born of darkness doesn't mean we belong to it. We're always free to choose. And here, at the very beginning, there's a choice to make. My father's cartoon world was now mine, to rule, to watch over, and to protect. I can make the cycle more bearable for my friends inside. But as for me, I'm the first of my kind. Born of ink, but living in flesh. Joey's world is escaping into ours. So, what's next? Who can really say? I like how she's bent her finger backwards. <laughs> it's just freaking rubber. All right, guys. So that was my full playthrough of Bendy and the Dark Revival. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. Let me know if you want to see me do like any of the videos, like any other videos where I go through and collect, this, you know, random items in the game. Try and 100% it. I thought it was really good. I didn't have like a ton of expectations. I just expected, you know, a 
a pretty standard horror game especially like a bendy horror game and uh i would say it definitely was better than i expected so yeah it was really enjoyable anyway i'm gonna let the credits play in case there's like a scene at the end but if you guys liked it just again let me know see you guys in the next one thanks for watching bye